Christmas is a time for family, but thousands of American military families have to spend the holidays far away from their loved ones. And as you're about to see in today's Family 411 report, that's inspiring some local moms to do something to keep the warmth in Christmas. Red, white, and blue are never far away when you're in the home of a blue star mother. Are you going out? We saw them in October. These mothers all know what it's like to be away from their children during the holidays. Their boys are American service members. When your son is in Afghanistan any time, but at the holidays, uh, it's, it's pretty upsetting. Nothing like the pride. There's nothing like it. But by the same token, there's nothing like the fear. It's hard, but I think it probably might be harder for them uh, being away from home. After Amy packed up and shipped a box of her homemade Christmas cookies overseas for her son Patrick, she turned her focus to veterans closer to home. These Blue Star moms are focused on making the holiday warm for some veterans with post-traumatic stress disorder. The men and women from several different states are spending their Christmas in a treatment facility. These blankets aren't just patriotic and warm. They come with something extra, a mother's touch. Think of how that would be to be in a hospital at Christmas, and yet um, there's somebody who loves you enough to come and, and see you. And it's not just Christmas. For the weeks while they're in treatment for PTSD, these women serve as mothers to the vets. When we walk in the room, they go, oh, look, the moms are here. We get hugs. We get, um, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. And they know they can call on us and we'll do whatever they need. Women find comfort in comforting others while their sons are in harm's way. It takes your mind off of it. Yeah, because you know you're helping someone else. And when the veterans graduate from their treatment program, they can count on a big celebration from their adoptive Blue Star moms. You see it on every one of the veterans' faces and um, at every graduation. They have hope for the first time in their life. And so to be a part of something like that is pretty awesome. They belong to somebody else. And, you know, their mom isn't able to come and cheer them on when they graduate, but I can do that. These women hope if their own sons are ever far away and in need, they can count on a mom to step up and serve. Sheila Gray, Local 12 News. That Blue Star chapter based in Boone County also welcomes veterans home from honor flights when they visit their war monuments in Washington. You can find a link for Blue Star Mothers on our website, local12.com.